A skill set of the new kid on the block might be the one to see a character turn into the villainous side of things. And the Illuminati are just there to control everything. And especially with Professor X already in the mix, we might be looking at some bigger truths to be told, which could alter everything we know about the main storyline we've been watching for over 20 years. I did what I had to do. To protect our world. Preparing itself to be one of the most mind-bending out-of-this-world movies is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, a movie that will open the multiverse wide open, with it being the first real set of a movie in the MCU, with previous projects from the MCU, including the likes of Loki and Spider-Man No Way Home, being just a glimpse at what is in store for us. The Doctor Strange sequel is the latest upcoming movie from Marvel Studios, and we cannot wait to see it, as it's gonna be filled with callbacks to the MCU, including the likes of Fox's X-Men and Marvel Comics. Wanda, what do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. There's also a teaser trailer for the movie, you should definitely go and check it out, and there are so many details that you might notice, which could all lead to something new. A hint of some sort as to what to expect from the movie when it releases, with the official release date now standing to be May the 6th, 2022, a date we think will not take any more delays, and for it being the final date for the movie, seeing how we're only a couple of months away from it. The movie will have a plethora of cameos, characters appearing from across the MCU multiverse, some here to stay and some just part of the plot. We have the main cast members of the movie, the well-known Doctor Strange, Wanda Maximoff, Wong, Mordo, Christine Palmer, who have all been in the first Doctor Strange movie, with Wanda being the only one not in it, but tightly connected to the sorcerer himself. You break the rules. Look out! I become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. The new kid on the block will be America Chavez, portrayed by Xochitl Gomez, who will play a big role in the movie as she has one of the most interesting sets of skills that Wanda probably needs right now, but more on that later. Another voice we heard in the trailer comes from the legend himself, Patrick Stewart, who's gonna make an appearance as a variant of Professor X, however, we still don't know which character from which universe we're gonna get. The movie will also present some of the multidimensional creatures from the comics. The first two that come to mind are Rintra, the Minotaur, we're able to see at Kamar Taj in the trailer, and Gargantos, the squid-like monster that Doctor Strange faces on a city street. The movie will be filled with characters from many universes, and it'll be interesting as to who exactly is going to leave the biggest mark moving forward, which of the characters will play a huge role in the movie, and which ones are here to stay in the MCU. With Marvel Studios having some future plans for them, maybe, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. The sequel will push all of the multiverse boundaries we know so far, a journey into the unknown together with Doctor Strange, who with the help of mystical allies, both old and new, will go across the mind-bending and dangerous multiverse with all of the alternate realities being shaken up in the process. Wanda will be Strange's adversary in the movie, who has been said to be the villain of the story as she'll have something else in mind, something that she'll be hiding from Strange until she has all information needed, information she'll get in order to know the whereabouts of her two boys, Billy and Tommy, with her ready to do everything it takes to save them, even if it means betraying everyone around her, thus making her the villain of the story, or the one we're able to see as of right now. Wanda. Oh, I knew sooner or later you'd show up. Whatever the case may be with the sequel, it sounds like the movie is gonna be the most surreal one so far. A movie for which has also been set to step into the horror genre a little bit, a bonkers movie as many are calling it, with a horror show vibe added. This also means that there will be plenty of deaths in the movie, so don't be surprised if some of the big names are not with us anymore after the movie ends. And don't worry, Doctor Strange will push through. Marvel Studios need him for their future plans of Phase 4 of the MCU. I made mistakes and people were hurt. I'm not here to talk about Westview. Then what are you here for? Right from the start when the movie was announced, the hype was real. That would go on to make the sequel one of the most exciting movies to come while we're at that too. This might be a chain reaction due to the fact that the movie came with its official title right away, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So far, the MCU has played with the concept but was never fully delved into it. Up until now, we have only scratched the surface with the entire multiverse concept now playing a major role in the story of the movie to come. 
There's no doubt that many variants will get showcased in the movie, from Doctor Strange variants to all of the characters we know by now. Anyone can make an appearance in one form or another. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. One of the most interesting things that will surely blow our minds is the fact that despite by now being known as not canon in the MCU, the What If series might become implemented in the Doctor Strange sequel, as seen in the trailer, which would make everything a little bit easier, with us knowing more and more on how the multiverse works. I need your help. With what? What do you know about the multiverse? Wanda Maximoff will play a big part in the story, with Elizabeth Olsen hinting the same thing even before the teaser arrived. She'll presumably be the villain of the story, or one of the villains, and she'll go on a mission to save both of her kids, who we think are held hostage at the Illuminati institution. But we're not quite sure, so don't take our word for it just yet. One thing we think the movie will introduce is the House of M comic storyline, a storyline which saw Scarlet Witch alter the fabric of reality and erase almost all of the mutants with just three words. No more mutants. In the movie, we think that it will be the opposite of that and that Scarlet Witch will be the one to bring most of the mutants to the MCU, with the hope of her two boys also coming forth. Things just got out of hand. In the trailer, we hear the voice of Patrick Stewart, who will be reprising his role as Professor X, but another variant, one of the many in the comics. In the movie, he will presumably be one of the members of the Illuminati organization, who says the following words when captured Doctor Strange is brought before him. We should tell him the truth. So what does this exactly mean? We should tell him the truth. From everything we've managed to find by now, it seems like Professor X is preparing us to witness the biggest secret in MCU history. What if the story we've been watching plays out for over 20 movies is not the main story? What if it's just another pocket dimension created when someone used magic to remove mutants from the world? It's a far out theory, but knowing the boundaries of the movie, and it has not a single one, we can expect anything from it, with every next scene in the movie just as exciting as the previous one. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts about the upcoming Doctor Strange sequel. Where would you say the story will go according to you, but also feel free to share everything that you managed to notice. Find out in the trailer yourself, tell us your depiction of the movie while we're at that too, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.